Buongiorno, LMPAans! I'm Chloe Luisi Serrano, and this vlog will be about Italy. Say pronto per imparar, then let's go! Italy is known for its tourist spots. It's the fifth most visited country in the world, with 94 million tourists per year. Some popular locations are the Colosseum in its capital, Rome, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, and Venice. Their national animal is the Italian wolf, and their national flower is the white lily that symbolizes chastity and purity. That's why young maidens are usually painted with lilies in portraits. Speaking of painting, one of the Italian's major hobbies are painting. The widely known Renaissance art period started in central Italy in the city of Florence. It started at the 14th and ended in the 17th century. Some popular paintings and artists from this era are Leonardo da Vinci, known for The Last Supper and Mona Lisa, and Michelangelo, known for making The Creation of Ada and The Birth of Venus. As students and proud Alameyas, we can use our artistic and creative skills to express our ideas and opinions. Not only will this be useful in our own future, but we can also use it to help others and send our message. While we are young, let us use this talent for the better. Food. Italy is also famous for its simple yet diverse set of recipes which are prepared slowly and with care to ensure its quality. Some famous dishes are pizzas and, you guessed it, pasta. Pasta is the symbol of Italian culture and it is a national pride. Their national dish is spaghetti bolognese, themed after its origin city, Bologna. The making of pasta started almost a thousand years ago. That's why it's so important in Italian culture. I wanted to try the Italian style dish, so I tried to cook something like it. by the baker Rafael Esposito in the city of Naples. Pinocchio was written by an Italian author and journalist named Carlo Collodi. The Italian flag has three colors, each with their own meaning. Green meaning hope and white meaning faith and red meaning charity. The ice cream cone is also an Italian invention. 
Italy has only been unified for at least 130 years. Italy has no official national costume, but this costume is inspired from an Italian folk dance called Tarantella. This top and my skirt is made from plain fabric that me and my mom sew. This apron is made from a green echo bag that we cut and sewn into shape. Lastly, this bodice is made from black rubber foam and ribbons that we glued. And now, you know all about Italy and its traditions. Thank you for watching, LMBAans. Arrivederci!